We went to a white person's home and it was their family dinner and we were sitting there at the table and the mother hauled off and slapped the father. And everybody at that table has an opinion. You know, the sister's like, mom, you always do this. And the brother's like, I can't believe you guys are doing this. And dad's like, you're terrible. If I weigh in as the guest in this home and I say, yeah, you guys are terrible. Everybody's like, <laughs> The MSNBC president, who has recently drawn criticism from black activists for letting anchor Tiffany Cross go, reportedly went to the set of the ABC show, The View and personally argued her case to co-hosts, Whoopi Goldberg and Sonny Hostin. Keep watching this video to know more. Tiffany Cross has been in the limelight for a long time. American television presenter, political analyst, and author Tiffany D. Cross is renowned for her perceptive analysis and stimulating debates on a range of political and social problems. She was born on February 6, 1979, and via her work in print and television, she has had a tremendous impact on the media landscape. Tiffany is a well-known political analyst who has a wealth of knowledge and experience analyzing and understanding intricate political events and developments. She has earned a reputation in the realm of political commentary thanks to her insightful observations and in-depth analyses. Her position as the host of The Cross Connection, a Saturday morning show on MSNBC, was one of the high points of her career. The program provided a forum for likely conversations and debates on important political issues from 2020 to 2022, giving viewers a comprehensive grasp of current events and their repercussions. Tiffany D. Cross has blazed a route as an African-American woman in the media sector, shattering stereotypes and achieving tremendous advancements in a predominantly male industry. She has paved the road for more varied voices and viewpoints to be heard in the arena of political commentary and analysis because of her presence and contributions. Tiffany continues to play a crucial role in influencing public discourse and fostering informed civic involvement thanks to her excellent professional trajectory and dedication to fostering constructive dialogue and understanding. She is a key personality in American media and journalism due to her commitment to tackling important problems and providing intelligent analysis on the political scene. In a recent development, MSNBC decided to end its relationship with anchor Tiffany Cross and cancel The Cross Connection with immediate effect. The show, which aired on weekends, had been a part of the network's schedule for two years when, according to reports, Cross had a disagreement with management about some of the show's portions in recent weeks. Tiffany Cross, the host of The Cross Connection, was well known for her perceptive analysis and stimulating debates on a range of political and social problems. Her program offered viewers a deeper perspective of current events and their repercussions by providing a forum for discussion and debate. Cross and network management, however, have recently been at odds over the direction and content of some of the segments on her show. Hosts and network executives frequently disagree about editorial choices and how to handle touchy subjects, and this is not uncommon. Conflicts with management prompted the network to decide to discontinue its relationship with Cross and cancel the show. Such choices are frequently difficult and depend on a number of variables, such as viewer feedback, ratings, internal dynamics, and adherence to the editorial standards of the network. Rashida Jones, the executive producer of the left-leaning cable news network owned by Comcast, was spotted with her star anchor, Nicole Wallace, on the set of the ABC television daytime talk show on November 7. Wallace was scheduled to do an on-air interview. According to sources cited by the news outlet Variety, Jones individually met Whoopi Goldberg and Sonny Hostin separately and provided her explanation for why she fired Cross. Just before airtime, Jones reportedly entered Goldberg's makeup applied dressing room and asked VIEW personnel to leave so that the two could speak alone. Jones reportedly spoke with Hostin privately in the hallway and disclosed that Cross' dismissal from MSNBC was a result of her unfavorable tone. This was not a private confrontation, and several VIEW employees saw the conversation. Jones also requested that the, the VIEW co-hosts not discuss the cross-firing during their Hot Topics discussion of the day's most sensational news topics, according to Variety. The VIEW co-hosts had originally intended to talk about the cross-firing during that broadcast, but the issue was dropped in favor of other news. However, the insider denied that Jones' presence on the scene was the cause. Insiders state that Jones didn't go to The View set with the goal of persuading Goldberg and Hostin to support her view on Cross' dismissal. Another insider denied social media rumors saying Jones had actually gone to the set to assist Wallace, the host of MSNBC's acclaimed political program. Deadline. White House. 
Wallace appeared on the ABC talk show to promote a new mental health series that was available to stream on NBC's Peacock digital platform. After just one season, Wallace, a former VIEW panelist, was fired from the show in 2015. Jones and ABC News president Kimberly Godwin were good friends. Jones frequently visited the studios of other networks, a practice that apparently prompted questions according to Variety. The decision to axe the cross connection last month after rejecting to extend cross contract through harsh criticism from Jones and NSNBC. Numerous well-known black leaders publicly criticized the choice and sent Jones a letter of disapproval. After learning of her dismissal, Cross reportedly started hurriedly calling other reporters, media executives, and business insiders to vent her anger at her former employer, threatening to go out in a blaze and take down NSNBC. MSNBC executives and Jones, the network's president, were unaware of the alleged phone calls until after Cross was fired. It's unknown how Cross became aware of her impending termination, but sources theorized that it may have happened while her agent was attempting to get his client a new deal. Jones and other MSNBC executives regularly cautioned Cross about offensive remarks she made on television. When Cross referred to Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas as Justice pubic hair on my coke can, during Senate confirmation hearings in 1991, she referred to one of the sexual harassment claims made against Thomas by Anita Hill. This provoked anger. In a podcast interview, Cross described Florida as the deke of the country that needed to be castrated. Throughout Tiffany's tenure as a panelist on The Cross Connection, Tiffany D. Cross demonstrated her capacity to facilitate intelligent discussions with visitors and other panelists from all backgrounds. She bravely took on difficult subjects while offering a fair and knowledgeable viewpoint on the most recent political news and happenings. In addition to her career in television, Tiffany D. Cross is a talented writer. She has contributed to renowned journals with her writing, and her important articles and opinion pieces further demonstrate her knowledge of political issues. Despite the end of the Cross connection, Tiffany Cross is still a successful author, political pundit, and television personality. She has made a substantial contribution to the media environment and been instrumental in developing informed civic engagement and public dialogue. This choice is likely to spark debates and responses from viewers, colleagues, and the larger media community, as with all changes to the media landscape. The network will need to cover the empty programming time created by the cancellation of the show, and viewers may be interested in how MSNBC handles the situation going forward. In the fast-paced world of television journalism, where it's crucial to uphold editorial standards and keep viewers interested, tensions and arguments between hosts and network executives are widespread. It is unknown how Tiffany Cross's career will develop after she leaves MSNBC. She may continue to make substantial contributions to the political and media environment in the future because other media outlets are likely to be interested in her ability and expertise in political analysis and commentary. Tiffany Cross and MSNBC may offer further details as the situation unfolds about the cancellation's causes and its implications for their future plans. Viewers and business watchers will be closely monitoring the events as they occur and any potential effects on political discourse and media portrayal. Now as for Whoopi Goldberg, she was suspended for two weeks by ABC News due to her remarks on The View regarding the Holocaust and Jews. In doing so, the corporation appears to believe to create a term, you ain't acting unless you're overreacting, like so many other people who panic in a crisis. Whoopi was kicked off The View in 2022 for saying that the Holocaust was not about race, while discussing Trump, who is now under investigation, with co-hosts Sonny Hostin, Sarah Haynes, Joy Bihar, and Alyssa Farah Greifen. Goldberg made a mistake. This includes the longest-running criminal investigation into claims that Michael Cohen and he paid Stormy Daniels, a porn star whose actual name is Stephanie Clifford, hush money following an alleged encounter with Trump. Goldberg had already expressed regret for her remarks, which were very obviously the result of ignorance rather than malice. The revelation that The View was a product of ABC News, rather than the fact that Goldberg was suspended, may be what is most stunning about this story. The fact that The View aims to entertain rather than provide in-depth reporting explains why it is more well-liked than, for instance, PBS Washington Week. The hosts of The View do, however, talk about important, newsworthy subjects, 
which is possibly one of the reasons why they appear to do so often. And with that we come to the end of this video. If you liked our content, leave your comments below, and do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.